Good morning, Bikini Body Mommies. We are now live on YouTube. I have not been live on YouTube since we did the gender reveal where I had you guys join us for the ultrasound when I was pregnant with Arwen to figure out whether or not she was a boy or a girl. So we're doing something a little bit different today. We are um, putting together a cooking video in partnership with Thrive Market. Um, one of the biggest things that I hear amongst the community, um, especially those who are following my weekly meal plan, is that um, you find it really hard or too expensive to buy some of the ingredients in your local markets. And it was really frustrating for me because depending on where you live um, in the world or especially in North America, I feel like healthy nutrition and um, feeding your families should be something that's really accessible and really easy. So um, I am really, really excited about Thrive Market and the partnership that I have with them. For those of you guys who don't know who Thrive Market is, Thrive Market is a wholesale health food store online. Think of it like a Costco, right? Costco meets Whole Foods. Everybody knows that Whole Foods is really, really expensive. It's kind of nicknamed the yuppie market because in order to buy ingredients from there and groceries from there, it's really expensive. Thrive Market is like Costco. You pay a, a annual fee to join Thrive Market and you can shop in their online store and have all of the ingredients literally directly delivered to your doorstep, which is fantastic for a lot of you guys who live in rural areas and, um, and are looking for a more affordable option. So to give you an idea of what types of foods um, and ingredients Thrive Market has, I'm going to actually be using a few of those today um, in today's recipe. So for those of you guys who are wondering what we are making, we are making protein muffins. They are my infamous Bikini Body Mommy protein muffins. Let's face it, everybody enjoys pastries in the morning, right? But pastries are notoriously awful for you because they're super high in carbs, typically really high in uh, refined sugar, and they just do nothing in terms of actually fueling your body properly. So I've got a little hack, a little breakfast hack that's going to make you feel like you're having something that's an indulgence, yet it's going to be incredibly healthy for you. These protein muffins have 24 grams of protein protein per serving um, and they are super super simple to make. So in terms of ingredients we're going to make sure to post the recipe card down below but I want to jump into this and make sure that um, we get this recipe underway. I'm going to be featuring the ghee butter. And for everybody who doesn't know what ghee is, ghee is clarified butter. It's fantastic for you. It has 20 times the flavor that traditional butter has. Um, and it actually has 20 times the calories. So you want to be a little bit diligent with this. We're going to be using this to line our muffin tins today. Um, and in addition to that, I'm also going to be using um, the Thrive almond butter to drizzle it on top. Again, it's a fantastic um, product to be using. And for all of you guys who are watching this live today, Thrive is actually giving every single one of you in the BBM community a free jar of this. All of you who live in North America, they're not delivering internationally yet. Stay with us though, because they will be soon, I'm sure. Um, but for right now, everybody in North America can pick up their free jar of ghee. And in addition to that, there is a 25% off coupon that they're um, offering everybody in the community off your first order, along with free shipping. Seriously, you guys, it is, there's, it's a no brainer, no brainer to go in and do this. So um, before we get started, I just want to tell everybody on Facebook that we're here. So give me one second. And I also want to pop in and see all of your comments and questions. So hold on one second here. Again, this is super exciting. I'm really um, anxious to see how everybody, what the turnout is on, what's that? No, I've got it right here. Um, do you want to grab the baby? Because she's crying upstairs and she's being very, Arwen was asleep. We were trying to time this perfectly so that she would stay asleep, but it didn't work out so well. Um, okay, so let me just pull up my Facebook feed and I want to let everybody know that we're here live on YouTube. I'm going to have you guys YouTube. You're going to shout out to Facebook. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, Facebook. Go live. Good morning, Facebook. I just want to let you guys know that I am in the kitchen and live right now on YouTube. Say good morning to YouTube. 
YouTube, say good morning to Facebook. Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook. Hi guys, make sure that you check me out on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Bikini Body Mommy. Head over there now because I am going to be dishing up some of my infamous Bikini Body Mommy protein muffins and I don't want anybody to miss that. Say good morning to Arwen. She's up from her nap and she's being a little bit cranky. All right guys, we'll see you over on YouTube. Bye. Okay, let's jump into this. Let's jump into this. Good morning, cranky butt. Good morning. Mwah. Good morning. Okay, here we go. So, protein muffins. Are we ready to do this? The first thing that you're going to need is bananas. You're going to need two bananas. You're going to need four eggs. You are going to need sausage, and you're going to need blueberries for the side. So this is what the finished product looks like. All right. You are going to need muffin tins and you are going to need some ghee in order to grease the muffin tins. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and those are gonna bake for only 15 minutes. So if you guys are ready to get going, we're gonna mix up our bananas first and I'm gonna pop into my live stream so that I can say hi to you guys and see everyone right now. Are you guys liking this YouTube stream? Are you enjoying this? I'm curious what you guys are thinking. Here we go. You know what's so funny is I just popped into my live stream and it's telling me that I need to watch a commercial first. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay, guys. Perfect. You can see your comments. I can't see your comments. Are comments not enabled? They At must the not. Very bottom. Hmm. They're live. Okay. Opinion. Okay. Thank you for bearing with us, guys. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Amber and Kimberly, Deanna, Beth. Jessica, Brittany, Deanna, you guys are all here. Hello, Kimberly, what, what, exactly. Tabitha, good morning, and Deanna and Jasmine. Hello, Sarah Brown from Oklahoma. All right, you guys, let's get into this. All right, little hack when it comes to making these muffins so that you're not sitting there mashing banana forever is massage the banana, squish it before you actually peel it and it makes it a lot easier. Don't squeeze too hard or you're going to have an issue. <laughs> Banana is gonna go all over the counter, right? Okay, so mash it, peel it. We're gonna put it into the bowl. I have a house full of kids this morning. You would never know it because of how quiet it is, but I tried to recruit banana mashers and nobody wanted to actually help. Don't know what's up with that. Everybody's being super camera shy. Maybe I should recruit Arwen. She was the only one I didn't think to ask. She's fantastic at mashing things. Okay, so we're gonna mash our banana really well. Again, if you've softened it by squeezing the banana before you peel it, that really, really helps. But we're gonna go ahead and do this. This is a super fast recipe, you guys. It literally takes no time at all to pull this together. I'm gonna keep reading your comments as we're doing this. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Kit. You're baking with blueberries too, but you're making a crisp. Oh, that sounds good. Vegan Fit Mama, good morning or good afternoon where you are in the world. Okay, so you wanna get your banana nice and mashed so it's like baby food consistency. Then you're gonna use a scoop of protein powder. My favorite protein powder, for those of you guys who don't know, is J-Rob. I love the egg-based protein powder. I find that it's really easily digestible. It doesn't cause any um, of the issues that a lot of people experience with whey because whey is a derivative of dairy. So for those of you guys who are wondering, um, I'm not a huge supplement person. I have absolutely no affiliation with J-Rob, but this is just the protein powder that I have found works the best for me and I have the least amount of issues with. You're gonna use a scoop of this protein powder and you're gonna add that into your banana. Whoop, I'm getting to the bottom of the bag. Scary state of affairs here, guys. I mean, it's time to get some more. We're gonna mix that in again. I would love to, I, you know what, I, I'm loving the, um, the YouTube platform. I'm just so used to doing Facebook Lives that Facebook Live really gives you all of the data that you're kind of looking for and being able to connect with people live and upfront. Jay, are you able to see how many people are actually watching this live? 78 people are on YouTube right now? Yep. Awesome. It's probably gonna be, we usually have like six to 700 people on Facebook Live, and nobody's used to actually following me here on YouTube yet, so it's probably gonna take people a little bit of an adjustment to get used to, used to this. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna add eggs. 
We're going to do four eggs. Now, um, if you want to add a little, if you want to have a little bit of a um, thicker muffin, you can add probably an extra egg to the recipe. It's totally up to you, but the recipe card calls for four eggs. Hi, Sarah from New Hampshire. What's the weather like there? It's rainy here in Southern California today. I'm going to add an extra egg, guys, and then I'm going to mix that up. Yay, Nicole can see me. She's thrilled. Awesome sauce. Don't get egg on your phone, you guys. That won't go over very well. Your phone will not like that. <laughs> Okay, amazing. So we're going to go ahead and whisk this together. Good morning, Arwen. Are you talking to Mama? Okay, guys. What does Thrive membership cost? Can you view their products prior to joining? You can view their products prior to joining. I think it's $60 a year, so it's exactly like Costco. Um, and again, it's at wholesale prices. So typically when you go to the grocery store and you buy, let's say, almond flour, they mark it up usually about 50% in order to make a profit. Thrive does not do that. So you get all of your ingredients that you're shopping for at wholesale prices and you literally are just paying for the annual fee, which is fantastic because it makes it affordable for everyone. And not only that, but because they mail it, deliver it directly to your door, it makes it accessible to everyone. So I am so excited about, um, about Thrive because I haven't seen anything um, else out there like them, which is fantastic. Um, and hello, let's face it, they're giving us a ton of free giveaways, right? Which is super awesome of them. Not very many people do that anymore. So that's awesome. Okay, so we've got our we're gonna call it pancake batter, ready to go. Um, and I'm just gonna set this aside. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my muffin tin and I'm gonna grease it with that ghee butter, the clarified butter, right, from Thrive Market. So I'm just gonna hold that up there so you guys can see what it looks like. Their labels, everything is so cute, you guys. I mean, let's talk about how cute this is, right? Like as women, we like things that look good. So we're just gonna add a little bit of butter onto a paper towel. I'm gonna grease this. Um, they also have coconut oil, if you prefer coconut oil. I know that there's a lot of people out there that have um, nut allergies, though. So um, I'm just going to line this. Again, the reason why I'm using the ghee is because it packs a ton of fantastic flavor and healthy fat into the recipe in a very um, sort of sneaky way. And um, it's delicious, honestly. It's so, it's so, so good. So we're just going to line this. Do they deliver so you guys, right now, unfortunately, Thrive is only available in North America, or in, um, in the U.S. They don't deliver to Canada um, yet. Yet. Believe me, though, having lived in Canada for five years, I'm pushing for it, and um, hopefully that's something that they're able to do, because I know that we have a huge audience in Canada, as well as other places around the world, right? So ghee butter, we're going to set that down, and now we're going to take sausage. Now, a note on the sausage, um, I'm using sausage patties. If you can find just ground sausage that is gluten-free, fantastic. But while we're on the subject of finding ingredients easy in local markets that aren't super expensive, my local market, unfortunately, didn't sell ground, gluten-free sausage meat. It didn't have it. It all had gluten, it all had nitrates in it. Those are the things that we're trying to avoid if you're following the Bikini Body Mommy weekly meal plan. Speaking of the meal plan, free week I give you. A free week to try it completely free. So if you love this recipe, you can find literally five more per day just like it by following my weekly meal plan. Back to the sausage. The only gluten-free sausage I could find was these patties. So. I'm going to be just kind of crumbling these up and putting them in the muffin tins. But again, it is better if you can find just regular gluten-free, nitrate-free sausage, um, ground sausage meat, and then you cook it that way. So it ends up being more like ground beef, and then you can just sprinkle it in. So the goal here is that we're going to take about three quarters of a pound of sausage, and we're going to divide that evenly between our muffin tins. And then we're going to pour our pancake mixture on top. And then we're going to throw those in the oven at 350 and they're literally only going to bake for about 15 minutes. That's all they need. 
and then we drizzle the tops of them with almond butter and maple syrup and we have blueberries on the side and you guys are going to be in hog heaven i'm telling you it's absolutely the most amazing and delicious recipe you'll have for breakfast and and be eating healthy when you're feeling like it's an indulgence <clears throat> Laura says, yes, you get a, a one month free trial with Thrive before they, tr before they actually charge you. So you can see if it's working for you, um, what ingredients you can, you can get uh, at wholesale prices and have in the house and how quickly it gets delivered. So it's a really fantastic thing. It's not like you have to pay the money and then go, uh, you know, this isn't what I thought it was going to be, or I'm not really using this. Believe me, you're going to use it. You're going to use it all of the time. Hi, Michelle. Michelle from Ohio is here, you guys. Everybody say hi to Michelle. Kimberly Davis says, thank you for the information. Uh, Mackenzie, yes, the coconut, the, um, if you did the coconut oil, you can still get the ghee. Absolutely. Yep. And you can cancel anytime with Thrive, you guys. Anytime. I have Kit. Kit's asking if I've tried the J. Rob chocolate protein powder. I like the vanilla just because it's more universal and it goes with everything. Cause you're going to use this in shakes. You're going to use it in like recipes like this. If you saw my last recipe in the kitchen that I made, it was the BBM cookie dough bites. And I used protein powder in that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I literally use it in everything absolutely everything and that's why I like the vanilla um, but there are other types uh, or other flavors out there that you just have to go based off of what you feel like having um, or what your personal preference is Michelle happy birthday big 40 tomorrow that is a monumentous day congratulations I hope that your family the girls and your hubby take you out somewhere super special and treat you like the queen that you are <laughs> Right? Jenna, good morning from Oregon. I'm. What is everybody feeling about the 6.0 challenge? Are you loving having a brand new workout to follow every day? Are you loving the reality aspect that I've gotten back to, like what I had with, with 1.0 and 2.0 with the kids running around? Does that make it better? I know some people prefer to work out without kids and other people are like, oh, I've missed how much, you know, the reality and let's face it, your kids keep my kids busy type thing. I've heard lots of that feedback. Talbert kid says she loves it so much. Jasmine loves it. Awesome. Tabitha's loving 6.0. Yay. That's what I want to hear. So you guys, I have a huge surprise for you next week. Huge. Huge, huge, huge for those of you guys who are feeling like you might be in a little bit of a stalemate or have hit a little bit of a plateau. I've got a huge something, something coming out next week that you are going to be over the moon thrilled about that I haven't really talked about at all to anybody outside of the inner circle community who's following the challenge live, but they know what's up. So maybe if you know one of the girls in the inner circle, you can peel the information out of her what's coming, but it's gonna be really exciting. Okay, we're gonna take our pancake batter, batter mixture and we're gonna mix it into our muffin tin. And uh, I'm just thinking, do I have a ladle easily accessible? Of course not, of course not, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna just go with a, with a fork or a spoon. <laughs> real life guys, real life. This is what you love, right? I'm not perfect. I don't proclaim to be, but we make it happen. Okay. So we're going to pour the mixture. You're going to divide it evenly amongst all of the tens. I would say two spoonfuls per um, 10. And again, you should have your oven preheated to 350. And we're gonna cook these for 15 minutes. And when they pop out, they are going to be delicious. Delicious, I tell you. We're almost done. So you can see there with the, with the sausage that I was forced to buy, that was the most time consuming thing was breaking up that sausage. But if I had found it, um, 
not in patty form, it would have been super easy because it would have already been ground and ready to just sprinkle into the muffin tins. So this really doesn't take that much time at all. Okay, we're almost there. And again, don't just watch this recipe, actually make it. We're including the recipe card in the video, but I will also include, I will also include it for you guys to download down below, a link for you guys to get it. Okay, so once you've gone through and you've um, added a, your two spoonfuls, go ahead and use up the rest of the mixture. Just divide it evenly between all of the rest. Do I love cooking? Michelle, that's a fantastic question. The answer to that is absolutely not. I despise cooking. I'm gonna to be totally honest and real with you guys. I hate cooking. When I was raised and uh, somehow cooking skipped a generation when I was growing up and um, we were raised on fast food as children. So I never really learned the skill set of like how to actually cook or what the different techniques were. And I found cooking and being in the kitchen really intimidating. And because I was a young mom and got married just out of high school um, and had kids, you know, a year into our marriage, um, and then had them really close together, I was really overwhelmed. So the idea of trying to like figure out how to then cook and figure out how to feed my family was just more than I could handle at a really young age. So I didn't actually learn how to cook until I was uh, 30 when I founded Bikini Body Mommy. And I was like, okay, enough of this nonsense. I gotta actually figure out like what I'm doing here. So I don't have any formal training in the kitchen. And if anything, I hope that that's inspiring to people, right? Because if I can do this and I can figure out how to do this at 30, then you guys can do this too. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. There are some really, really simple kitchen hacks um, to pull together to make things super quick and easy and absolutely delicious for your family. So this is what it looks like, you guys, the mixture. You're gonna put this in your oven for at 350. I'm just gonna stick it in there. And again, we're gonna cook that for 15 minutes. It is literally that easy, that easy. Where did the other ones go that I cooked? Okay, here we go. So I've already plated these ones in front, but when they're done, they come out looking like this. So you literally are just gonna pop them out of the muffin tins, and then you're gonna drizzle it with a little bit of warmed um, almond butter and some maple syrup, which is fantastic, and then have some berries on the side. So it is that quick and easy. You can see it right here. It's delicious. Again, in terms of hitting your protein requirement, it nails it. You have 24 grams per serving, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So do you want, I will take questions right now and see how everybody um, is feeling about this. Brianna says she loves how easy, quick and easy the recipes are. You know what, Brianna, thank you very much. Brianna's gray. I love your name, by the way. Um, and yes, we're going to provide a link for the recipe down below so you don't have to worry about that. Um, Talbert Kid says she's new to eating healthy and she's very picky. Um, what type of protein powder should you be using? So there are various forms of protein powder and a lot of times you just have to kind of experiment and figure out what works for you. Whether that's a um, vegetable based protein powder like a pea based or a lentil based protein. Um, so a vegan protein powder. Um, a lot of people have... Arwen, you're being very loud, practicing your words. Um, a lot of people do whey, but then they don't even realize that they're having side effects from whey because whey is a derivative of dairy. Um, and then I personally love egg-based protein powder. I find that it um, causes the least amount of digestive issues. Um, and in terms of the taste, it doesn't taste funky to me, which a lot of protein powders do. Um, and again, I use J. Rob protein powder. I have absolutely no affiliation with him whatsoever. Um, it's just a brand that I have um, used for years. So um, there's multiple different flavors. I like vanilla because it's the most universal, but there is also, I believe, peanut butter and definitely a chocolate flavor as well for those of you guys who want something different. Um, roughly how much protein powder? You said one scoop. So the scoop that I'm using is this, this, it's a this a big. Um, 
And one scoop of J. Rob is going to give you four grams of carbohydrate and 24 grams of protein, um, zero grams of sugar and zero grams of fat. Total calories is 120 calories. Um, so this is the size of the scoop. It's not like a massive, massive scoop. I think um, it doesn't say how many, how many grams it is. Yeah, so that hopefully answers your question. So how are these on carbs? Kimberly, um, what are you trying to keep your carbs below? Because these carb counts per serving is 19 grams of carb per, per serving, but 24 grams of protein. So it depends on what um, you talk about being uh, modified keto. Um, it totally depends on what your carb levels are. Obviously, if you're trying to stay under 10 carbs per day, this is going to be past that. But if you're under 20 car or 20 carbs per 10 carbs per day, what am I talking about? 10 carbs per meal, um, this is going to be over that. If you're trying to stay under 20 grams of carbs per meal, then you're going to be right on track with your goal. Absolutely. Um, okay, guys. I think so. Five net carbs. Yes. So obviously don't have the blueberries on the side. Um, okay guys, I think that is it. I hope that you enjoyed um, this live stream on YouTube today um, and that you enjoyed this recipe. Again, don't just watch this video, actually make it. And when you're done making it and you try it, give me a comment down below or a thumbs up and let me know that this was the bomb. And remember that I have a weekly meal plan where you can have recipes just like this five times per day for an entire week straight provided to you along with the shopping list and all of the recipes provided in my weekly meal plan. And I give you the first week to try it absolutely free. That's it for now, guys. I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.